Hello there. This is our YouTube channel called Just Eat It. See what we did there. Anyways, um, the idea of this is to go out and get exotic foods, uh, you know, foods that you may not want to try, whether it's spicy, junk, something new. Um, not promising we're going to like everything. That's the whole point of this video. Um, basically, we try it so you don't have to, or if you decide you might like our views, um, then you could go out and get them yourself. Um, by the way, I'm Jared. This is Trish. Again, just eat it. And Trish. And Trish. And Sorry. Trish. So today we're doing spicy noodles. Um, we got a different variety from the store. We got about three different ones. This first one here is by, I believe it's Non Shin, it says. Uh, they're called the Shin, Shin Noodle Soup by Nong Shin. Um, it says uh, picante and a bunch of other languages that I can't beef. read. These are all beef flavored noodle dishes. Beef flavored spicy noodles. Beef uh, we're not promising we're going to like them. You know, if you look I don't at like some, spicy. He likes spicy. So this might be a, a skewed review either way. But this one says we got some garlic. We got chili pepper, carrot, all dehydrated stuff. Anyways, uh, that's this one. The list goes on and on. And the ingredients. The next one is by Pocas. Can you see that? Pocas. And a bowl noodle soup beef flavor. Again, spicy beef. As you can see on the package there, that beef looks pretty good. I doubt there's actual beef in there, though. So, some of the ingredients on this one. Oh, this one's got a noodle and a sauce and a chili sauce. So, this might be more than just a powder. Um, oh, something stood out to me, though, right here under the sauce. Right there, we got ginger. Okay. Yeah. So, if you're not a ginger yeah. fan, I guess we're going to find and out. And we are Depends not ginger how fans. overpowering this is. It's some of you may like gingers. Uh, to some of us, ginger tastes I like I like Marianne. You might like ginger. Yeah, I'll pass on I either one. See I saw I what there? you did there. Yes. So, anyways, this is Pocas. Pocas. Whichever. Uh, bowl noodle soup. Spicy beef flavor. And finally, we have our usual familiar name brand, however you would say it, Marichuan, uh, Marichuan, uh, Fireball Ramen Spicy Beef. Hopefully in our next video, we're going to get our hands on some of the uh, spicy and two times spicy from uh, oh, yes, the Sam Yang, if you've heard of those. And I know those are got some heat in them. So um, a lot of these you could cook in the microwave, you could cook on the stove top. Um, so on and so forth. So, you see these right here? We're going to go start cooking these up and we're going to review them for you. Stand by. Be right back. And we're back. We cooked our noodles. We're going to give this a whirl. As you can see our display, we got that one. We got our fireball here. And on the end... We got our Nong Shim Shin Noodle Soup, okay? Want to start with this one? We do, sir. So we're starting with the Pocas Noodle Soup Spicy Beef. All right, we're going to let you know how these are. And I believe these are the ones that we said had ginger in it, so yeah. we're going to go ahead we'll see. and give that a whirl. Yeah. I'm first going to rate mine on spice. We should be using chopsticks, but we don't have any. Smells good. Almost like a kind of a peanutty teriyaki in there. She's coughing already. I can smell the ginger. But that's just me. I'm hypersensitive to ginger. To me, it tastes and smells like soap. Not to ruin it for you, but... Well... It's okay, not overpoweringly gingery to me. You could taste it's it. Very though. salty tasting, though. And the they're ramen right. noodles. I understand that, but I'm talking about the By spice. By the end of these three bowls, our blood pressure is going to be through the roof. Um, In case anybody out there hasn't had ramen. Um, I see. understand that with the seasoning, but right away, boom. I'm just uh, Look at this one right getting here. a lot of saltiness to this one. It's got 11, it's got, one of these containers has 48% of your daily amount of sodium in it, in case um, those of you were wondering. 
I Not will, that we're worried about that, obviously, doing a, a new overview. I will give them kudos for the ginger. It is in there, but it's not knocking out the flavors and that. So you guys may like ginger, and then all is good. Um, not bad. Uh, not a horrible pocus, flavor. Pocus, pocus, bowl, noodle, soup. Not a bad spice. Are you getting any beef? I don't think I'm getting any beef. No, so in case... People haven't made those. There's ramen that uses the powder. There's, <laughs> from what I understand, the Sam Yang spicy noodles. Some people call them the volcano noodles. There's different ones. Those use more of a, like a base. These ones had a base, too. So both the spicy packet, this one came with a spicy packet and a soup base. And both of them were a, um, like a liquid. They weren't a powder. So if you look at this bowl in here, see there's not really, there's no leftover liquid in there. It all evaporated right. by the soup base. So these are more like a low main, which is what I like. And that's why I was hesitant to try these noodles because I'm not a big fan of the uh, soupy. I also like my noodles firmer and a little bit more al dente. I don't like that. Noodles are good for me. The noodles are good. The heat is good. It goes away. It's not too hot. I'm not a big spice spice. I like spice. He, there's no spice he can't tolerate. So, it's not bad. I'm going to give it uh, on a 1 to 10. Well, I am... you got to rate the spice scale first. Yours might be skewed. Then we can rate the overall. I'm not sure what that means, but okay. Well, because we want you guys out there to know how they taste and how hot they are. Because a lot of people have different levels of spice. Oh, For me, and I can tolerate hot stuff. On a 1 to 10 for the spice scale, this is about a 2.5 for me. Flavor, it's about a 6. Overall, I would give this noodle about a 6.5. Yeah, my overall is going to be, I'm going to go a 7. I'm going to go a 7 because I think the spice is really good for me, but uh, flavor could be a little bit tamer on the sodium. We're going to try the next one. Mm-hmm. Now, for noodle number two, Cheers. we have Marichon Fire Spicy Beef. Now, this one you can just put in the microwave. The noodles come self-contained in here with a powder packet, okay? So this is like your traditional ramen, I guess you would say, with a, it's got the powder soup mix, and you just put it in with the water and the noodles. You can do microwave or where you just... Pre boil the water and pour them in, whichever you want. Depends if you're at work, you have access to a microwave. That's this one. Now, okay. as you can see in here, this one's a little soupier, got a little more liquid. Little uh, browner. This, uh... this one has more of a smell of a traditional ramen. You know, your old 40 cent ramen packs at the grocery store, those of you who went to college. Maybe a little smokier. Probably, smokier. Li probably lived off of this on their freshman year. I know I had a few every now and again. Hot still. Very hot. We've been letting them sit for a few minutes and they're still on the hot side. Yeah, this one smells to me just like a traditional beef ramen with a little spice in there. Heat. I don't like the liquid it. ramen, but I like this flavor. It literally, it is a little smoky. It reminds me of... um. I don't know. Hot. Maybe if you put a little uh, light, hot yeah, Indian uh, <clears throat> chili powder in there. Okay, this is the Fireball. Yeah, this is uh, more true to its name, Fire Bowl. I got some fire going. Spicy, not maybe a little spicy. Fire, it's... Uh, I'm sure not hot for you, but... I was going to have a special guest. My son, who's nine years old, can actually tolerate heat better than this one, believe it or not. This one being me. He's a big fan of uh, Aunt Trish. spicy stuff. Yes, he gets we're hoping, that from me. We're hoping to get him in on the video, and then it'll be three generations. He's here today, but he seems to be a little camera shy. I was uh, motioning to him off camera to see if he wants to try a bite. That way he could get in our inaugural uh, YouTube mm. Just Eat It video. Remember, Just Eat It. Follow us, give a like, give a subscribe. I'm liking this one. I like the flavor and the smokiness. I'm liking this one. Hey, Joe, you want to come try the fireball? 
We got people are gonna be watching us. One bite, one bite, one bowl bite. Hey, careful on the one bite. That's trademarked. Uh, no, I did not make reference to anybody else's. I'm just. I think that's it. For I actually with this like one. this. One. It is good. It is good. But if I eat any more, I don't know that I'll be able to taste the next one. But I would definitely get this one again. I'm going to give this one a four and a half on the spice, seven on the flavor. I'm going to give it about a seven, two total. I'm, I'm good. You know what? I'm um, impressed. So I am going to give it, um, I'm giving it an eight and a half. There, I said it. If you're one of those bland type uh, individuals and you don't like spicy at all, this would not be for you. If you like overly spicy, it's not going to satisfy you. If you like a little kick with flavor, so far I recommend this one as well. Right. Now remember too, with any of these ramen dishes, add some eggs or something. Man, you are over the top. Throw it's some scallions in a little cilantro, Perfect. maybe a fried egg. Perfect. Dress I it up. I think that would go good on this one. Dress it up. <laughs> now that first one we did again, those of you out here. That one, if you're a ginger fan, that first one would have been for you. And if you like a stickier noodle, that one would have been for you. Now on to our final. This is... Pass that over here. This is the one in the packet. Again, just like the fireball that we did, this one, it just had a powder packet to it. The first one was the only one that had a sauce, if you will. So again, Nong Shim... Shin beef noodle soup. You know, I can never pronounce any of these, right? <clears throat> I think they do that on purpose, really. Fire bowl is still kind of hanging around inside the pellet here. I gotta tell you. It's kind of but, a little but I like it. Nothing I like that bothers me. I keep me. going back to that. Okay, let's. So again, we're gonna let's dive see into this if one. Uh, Shin can. Uh, non Shin. Again, now that's a spicy, so we might be on the same level as the first. Well, everything we've done today is spicy. But I'm saying spicy. This one already smells different Fire. than this one. Mm -hmm. And again, these are all beef, and there is really no beef. So. I can tell you right off the bat, after one bite, this is my least favorite of all of them. Despite not liking ginger, I prefer that first one over this one. It had a really good flavor. This one is... I don't know. You know, ironically, well, hit, well, this makes sense. So I was going to say, here, I'm just looking at this now. I was going to say, this one is far more salty than the other ones, I would say. One package of this will get you 1970. 1,970 milligrams of soda. I love the 70s. You're at about, the 70s. You're at about your 86% of your daily soda. That explains the, uh, I mean, extremely salty. But again, we can't be worrying about the salt. We're eating ramen noodles. Okay, anybody who's and like, we do not eat these on a regular basis at all. Jared might partake more we might than have I to, do. We might have to a lot more now for reviewing these to see if you individuals this want is, out there. You know, yes, I we are putting our health at risk for you, and you can see we are athletes. Yes, we are taking the day off from yeah, we're bulking the gym, we're bulking today. Today's a bulk. Yes, I'm gonna take another bite. I don't really. You know, sometimes you do food reviews and people say off camera, I'm going to finish this one. This bowl, I don't think I'm going to finish. Again, really, really salty. There is a spice. Yes, but... It does have a spiciness to it. I would not recommend this one at all. Um, I give this one a 3 on the spice and a 5 on the flavor. Maybe like a 4.8 overall. Um, I'm going to go a 5-5 five five on this one. Um, it's being making me generous. gag. It's not making me gag. That's what he's worried about today, too. Maybe we'll have to do a macro video one of these days. It's not, really, it's not making me gag, of course. I am not a ramen expert. Um, this is not my forte. These are us are. But uh, none of them have been more than I could handle. And none of them have been... Utterly repulsive. So I'm going five five, but I think we can both agree. Point to it, which is the winner. 
I'm going to say that one. Fireball. Fireball? Fireball. 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 Marichon Fireball. If you could get your hands on these, combination of flavor and heat, this is going to be your winner. I'll take the second place because of the thickness and the lack of soupiness. Now, depending on your taste, this one right here, see, that's what I can do about that one. And all they right. were all comparable in price. You know, even the bowls in that. You know, you're talking a little over a buck something. I think. Yeah, remember these bigger 50. ones? A lot of these uh, fad noodles these days, like your San Yang, two times spicy. That's not going to be in your forty cent a bag ramen range, right. okay? Like that used to be twenty five. These are on the upper shelf. These are on, the, shelf. Yeah, these these are on are, the high shelf. Okay? These are on top notch. You're going to have to work to get these bad boys. These now. these noodles are like the wagyu of noodles. They are. Okay? They are. Between probably buck twenty and uh, two dollars per package. They are. But next video, we're going to try to get our hands on some of the Sam Yang two times spicy. We're going to see how hot they really are. Um, we're going to be testing products right now. We're Starting these first few videos with ramen on a spice level, and then we're just got anything. And if you guys have any suggestions, we're Please. more than willing to try it. Hit the button, subscribe, hit like, subscribe, prescribe, whatever you want to do, hit it. it. Starts with an S, ends in I somewhere in there. But anyways, we'll take it. Um, we'll try anything that you guys suggest. We heard there's a lot of weird food combinations out there. We're here to try them. Um, and Let's we not get have too crazy, some of our own. We, we have here. some of our own. And if you're sure. lucky enough, you might see a few uh, disgusting reaction videos from us if those, uh, there's ones that we can't tolerate. And also, anything with heat. If there's anything you recommend out there with heat, I'll be more than willing to try it. Exotic foods, weird combinations. We're there for you. Remember, Trish, Jared, just eat it. Hit a like, hit a subscribe, give us some suggestions. You guys stay warm out there. We're in the Midwest, so we're in the chili. Peace.